Hey folks, ET here, and today I'm going to talk to you a little about a little bit about dark pools, uh, how I use them in my trading strategy, where to find them on the platform, uh, and how the, how I apply them uh, just overall into what I'm looking for each day. So first off, obviously, dark pools are where big money and smart money uh, place their bets and can be used as support and resistance, and that is sort of how I use them all day long. Not sort of, that's exactly how I use them all day long. So to start off, if you're on the platform, you're on the web, you want to go here, you want to click dark pool, and then you want to enter in SPY. All right, so that's where we're sitting right now. We are on SPY, and I'm going to scroll down. I'm just going to tell you right now, for now, uh, if you're a newer trader, don't uh, try to parse all of this data and collect all of it into your brain. Uh, I'm going to smooth brain this for you and draw it down a little bit into something a little bit simpler and a little bit easier to, to digest. So where you're going to end up, when you get here, if you scroll down, you're going to see all of these dark pools here. Okay, and my advice in the beginning would be to, you do not want to add all of these levels to your charts. This is a lot of information, okay, and your chart's going to look like spaghetti and it's going to be a little bit hard to decipher uh, where the bounces are and where the rejections are going to be. So what I do, if I'm on web, I come here and I scroll down to this spot right here, our green is the biggest level okay so this is our massive level that we've been talking about over the past few days and if you've seen my live chart it is on there and then this 384.30 is one that we've been unable to pass as well so one could feasibly assume since dark pools can be used as support and resistance and the larger they are the bigger the support or the bigger the resistance okay one can infer that we would chop in this range a little bit which is kind of what we've doing with a couple of dips below so it's difficult to really infer if a dark pool is a buy or a sell, so what you are always looking for is just big levels to apply support and resistance. We're going to move to the chart now. Okay, so on our chart we have these dark pools right here. Purple lines are dark pools, okay. Gray lines are GEX, so you don't have to worry about those right now, but you can obviously see, see through the chart how well, they, how well they work. Oh, also, if you are just using the Discord bots, type in TR DP levels spy and that will pop up a nice little a nice little graphic with the information that is really just this piece here and a simple to read graphic if you're on mobile so let's take a look at these dark pool levels now I'm just going to tell you exactly how I use them if we have a bullish trend and market net flow I am looking for a pullback to a dark pool level to long and I scale at GEXs and at dark pools. If we have a bearish MNF, market net flow, I am looking for a little bit of a run up and a rejection off of a GEX or a dark pool level and I will scale at the next GEX and dark pool level while I'm short. This is a very, very, very simple process that I use. I use these lines all day long. I redraw them every morning depending on where, where the Greeks are and how much the dark pools grow. I ping the bot and I change these numbers so I know exactly where we're at. This one, by the way, has grown by about 10 million in a week, or 10 billion in a week, apologies. So just to make sure that you understand exactly what I'm saying, I use these as support and resistance just like I would a GEX or a typical SR that you've drawn on your chart. I long on a pullback to them when we have a bullish market net flow. I short when we have a bearish market net flow and we get a bit of a rise. All right, so obviously there are days where we have trends that just go all the way down or all the way up for most of the day. And those are the days that you get that early rejection and then you can just kind of hold your runners and let it go all the way down. In the same case for bullish, you can hold them and let it go all the way up. All right, so I'm going to reiterate just one more time how I take a look at these. Bullish market net flow, I look for a pullback or 2-1 and then a bounce to go long bearish market net flows I look for a run up to go short and I also watch market net flow the entire time the entire time to make sure that there's no shift or change throughout the day that is all on the dark pools I hope you all like this video and I hope that you under helps you understand a little bit better uh, how I apply them and how they find them throughout the day everybody have a good day